Hello guys, in this video here we will be taking a look at the Acer Predator XP273K. This is a pure gaming monitor, I think it's a 27 inch screen with a 4K display and updating frequency of 134Hz. So if you don't want to watch the whole video, I could absolutely recommend you this uh, monitor. So if you've got the specifications you are looking at and you find it for a fairly good price, I don't really see the issue in buying this screen here. Uh, I don't really see any big problems with using this. But if you are a console player, I can't recommend it to use. You should maybe look for a newer model or so because this monitor here doesn't have HDMI 2.0, which is unfortunate. Uh, so we won't be able to use the all of the, like the benefits with a high updating frequency in 4k on your console so you have to look elsewhere taking a look at the specification of this screen here it is a 27 inch display with the ips panel so all of the colors and such on this is just wonderful and i would also guess that in this monitor here you would find one of the better uh, panels you also got that nice and high updating frequency for being a uh, IPS display and this is also a IPS display with 4k resolution So it makes it a little bit more expensive because of these specifications But you can find it for six to seven hundred dollars at the moment Which definitely isn't cheap, but I would say you get a lot for your money at least uh, we don't really have any input lag as well. One millisecond is really low, so that wouldn't be an issue. The only thing is that the contrast ratio isn't the best, 1 to 1000. But for me, I don't really see the issue here. I often have nice and clear and bright images on my screen. It's not often I sit and watch really dark scenes or play really dark games that I have to like see the difference between like a shadow in a black screen so but if you are playing some like um, walking in the woods at night games maybe a IPS display isn't for you as I said earlier 144 hertz updating frequency is really good and uh, keep in mind that you also need a fairly good computer to play at this updating frequency or frame rates so earlier i haven't really been like uh, a person that have uh, seen the benefit in using 4k uh, compared to like 1440p but there is a little bit slight difference it's just a little bit more clear and such but it's not like i felt the immediate need to upgrade from from 1440p to 4k but we get a little bit more clearer image and uh, when it comes to like looking at tests and the overall image and in games maybe think there's a placebo effect but the like the clarity of the 4k display with a high uptake in frequency i think it just makes it a little bit easier to like land headshots and such i'm not sure but that could definitely be a, just a placebo effect the monitor is rated with VESA approved HDR 400, so we got a 400 nits uh, background uh, illumination, which is, I would say, fairly high. Do you really need more? I'm not sure. In daylight and search, I don't really see any problems with the brightness. It's more than bright enough for me, and uh, 400 is still very high. And when it comes to ghosting and search, absolutely no issue here i think this would be one of the best ips panels that i've tested when it comes to ghosting of course there will always be some but on this one it's just so minor so even moving around just the image is always so clear and nice colors and such you also got these blinds on the sides and on the top it's got this felt on the inside which is really just eating all of the light that hits it so filming it is really hard maybe i should use a flashlight to like uh, actually show you but it's just that felt if you like seeing those juicy pants some girls shoes it's like the same material as that uh, just swallows all of the light in this uh, use here so that maybe makes the contrast and such even better 